Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Soy from the Classy Sassy Life. Today is a plan with me in my classic happy planner. I am getting ready to switch over and I'm super excited. We only have two more weeks left. So let's go ahead and get started. If you have not seen my after the pen, it is now posted on Instagram. So make sure you guys go check that out and give it a like. So for this spread, I started with tons of sticker books. Um, I really wasn't sure what I wanted to do yet, so I grabbed quite a few sticker books from my stash, and I only ended up using about three. So I'm starting with my everyday plan sticker book. My best friend is having her bridal shower this weekend. So I wanted to decorate with some florals. So I'm going into um, my everyday plans and getting all of the florals that I have left. Now originally I had um, two stickers there to just kind of section off that area. Um, but as I continue with this spread, I realized that I really needed those stickers. So you're going to see me move those in a moment. So right now, all I'm doing is just grabbing all of the stickers from um, these couple of sheets that I have left in everyday plans and I am laying those down at the bottom to um, just kind of create a floral accent at the bottom of my spread. Okay guys, so as I said, I made like a little corner on the other side of my page on the left hand side for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And I wanted there to be some balance on Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday side or the right side of my page. Um, and I was out of florals. So um, at first I was going to use this really big leaf that you're going to see in just a second. But unfortunately, um, I just didn't feel like it was it would look right, but I wanted to use it. So I cut it in half with my X-Acto knife and I put half on um, the right side and half on the left side and I put them, kind of match them together just to set off my floral theme a little bit better. So now you see me just pulling up the remainder of those stickers except for that one floral because I do want one floral sticker to kind of set everything off. So I let my flowers kind of dictate the color of my spread this week and I pretty much stuck in everyday plans except for a few things um, that I wanted. And I was going to use that little extra piece that I cut off of my floral but I didn't like it. But I love this layout so far guys. I think it's really pretty and it's really setting off my spread. So I wanted to go ahead and use these, um, these greenery pieces that I had left. So I just kind of laid a few around at the top and a few throughout the spread. Now, it was a mistake for me to lay down this purple flower just because there's no other purple flowers and there was nothing else in my actual spread. So you're going to see me remove that in a little bit. Um, and you're actually going to see me do it right now because I found this beautiful hot pink celebrate sticker. Um, and I thought it was so pretty and I laid it on top of that purple and I did not like the way that looked so I am going to quickly remove that so now that I've removed that I am going to save it because I do love my florals um, so I just laid it um, down 
on a sheet that I haven't used yet. So then I wanted to use this wake up and be happy, but I wanted to cover up the note section. So I went looking for a couple of washi strips. Now a few of our sticker books actually have the washi strips in them. I do want to get the um, washi sticker books though, but um, I am in the watercolor sticker book, I believe, and I found this really pretty um, polka dot washi strip and it actually had like a little watercolor on the side um, and I ended up cutting it a little bit bigger than I wanted to but I'm gonna save that little space for something else so I put it back in the sticker book guys always keep your stickers if you're cutting some off um, except for the little circle stickers if you cut those off I don't generally keep those but I do keep any extra um, of other stickers so decided to also use another washi strip and I am cutting it in half so I just folded it and cut it with my exacto knife and I'm just gonna lay it down I'm um, in a couple of different places just to help it pop and I absolutely love that I wish I had another strip I would have used that one and then I found this really beautiful quote in this like teal blue that says cheers to the weekend I thought it was super cute and um, then I just went for a few more stickers for decoration. I went back to my everyday plans and then I grabbed these really cute little heart stickers and I decided to let those be um, my icons for my list for this week. And I was gonna offset them but I decided not to and I stuck with those same colors that are actually in my spread, which is the pink, the yellow, the orange color almost it's coral looking and green and so now we're ready to do some functional planning and I stuck with the everyday plan sticker book and I'm just grabbing these little um, header icons I was looking for a particular color and I couldn't find it but I thought that this um, almost mustard yellow color really went with the spread just because of the yellow and the coral and the flowers um, and I really like that and I have some errands to run on Tuesday. I have a major project to do on Monday, so I'm not going anywhere Monday. I'm staying at home and getting those things done, um, and it's not school related. And then I have um, tons of things to do for my besties bridal shower this weekend. I have a couple of projects that I want to complete for that as well. Um, so I am making myself a list of things that I want to do, those priorities to get checked off, and then I'm going to be accomplishing those this week. I also want to do some uh, project at home, which is I'm um, going to be cleaning out my refrigerator and just organizing it better. Um, but I am going to be going to Home Goods on Tuesday, Joann's and Michael's. So if you guys want to see a shop with me video, give this video a thumbs up and I will record it vlog style and um, post it on my channel as well as what I picked up on Tuesday. If you guys are interested, let me know. So as you can see, I kind of stuck with those same color schemes for my flags. I grabbed those flags from the same sticker book. Um, and I'm just flipping through trying to find another sticker that I wanted to use in a lot of that blank space over there. Um, because even though my week is pretty busy, my um, weekend, other than bridal, sh bridal shower, won't be. We'll be going um, to my hometown in Mississippi. And... Um, I really want to just enjoy being with friends and family. So I am laying down a couple of um, box stickers with quotes and I picked this box sticker up three times guys and I picked it up three times because the first time it covered up my celebrate sticker then the second time it covered up my washi strip and I didn't want to do that. So I picked it up again and I found the perfect place for it on Sunday and it says be bold and brave in your heart and then the pink sticker on the left side says be beautiful I love that and then I laid down um, this list sticker for Friday because that's when we're going to be traveling so I want to make sure that I get um, everything that I need packed up and I don't forget anything and I grabbed this really pretty circle sticker that says to do and I cut off the top portion of it and laid it on top of my list so I'm laying down a few of these um, they're almost, they're appointment stickers, I believe, but I like to use them um, for my fitness. Okay. 
So then I went into my productivity sticker book. I really liked having that water bottle and that um, habit tracker from last week. So I'm going to do it again. And I chose this soft pink to kind of tie in all the shades of pink that I have in my spread. And then I went into my DIY um, flip up sticker book and that's the tiny one that that you see there and I am looking for my water bottles if you guys want to see how I did this there is a card popping up right now and it will be at the end of this video as well so before I get started with my after the pen I wanted to tell you about these dead letter tri plus ballpoint pens they're not the fine liners they are 1.0 mill millimeter they are pretty good but they do skip a little bit so just be aware I picked those up from Target for nine so I always like to start my week with like my top three or four things that I want to accomplish and so this week is t-shirts I have to make two phone calls and I have some projects to do for the bridal shower as well as a TPT project that I'm going to be working on and I'll give you guys details on that later um so on Monday I want to work on t-shirts and my TPT products and then on Tuesday I'm going to be running my errands I'm going to Joann's and Michael's and guys I do a lot of bouncing back and forth in this video um, because I decided to use my Crayola super tips to do a little bit of lettering it makes me a little nervous um, because I am not really good at lettering but I am working on it so anyway I will be doing a video a shop with me video and it will be on my channel on Wednesday so I hope you guys um, stay tuned for that I also have a bridal shower on Saturday so I use this lime green super tip to write bridal shower and I underestimated my space a little bit for for both lines so it didn't turn out as good as I wanted it to and then I just um, wrote her name out I also decided to write pack in my set letter pen and I didn't like the way that it looked so you're gonna see me change that as well and I'm writing the four things that I need to make sure I do and get packed up on Friday then I went to my remember. I want to make sure that by Thursday all of the things that I had to do was completed and I want to write out a packing list so I can make sure I don't leave anything. So I also decided to letter home goods because I really want to go to home goods to get some organization things for my refrigerator deep clean that I'm going to be doing on Wednesday. Um, so I made a point of making that really big so that I can accommodate and try to make time to go. So as I said, I'm going to be doing a refrigerator deep clean. So I'm going to be cleaning out my fridge on Wednesday. That's going to be my major project for um, this week. And I'm trying to do some deep cleaning before my new class to start on next week and like I said I didn't like the way pack looks so I went in and changed that so the next two things that you're going to see me write is that we're going to my our home church on Sunday um, in Mississippi and we're also and I'm also going to write down how much water I want to intake on my habit tracker so guys I hope you enjoyed this video keep God first in everything you do give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss anything click that and plan a classy and sassy life, guys. Bye.